Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas Football here in Harlingen, Texas on the Country Meets Texas High School Football Road Tour at the Battle of Arroyo. Here with the head coach of the 8-0 Harlingen Cardinals, Coach Manny Gomez. Coach, uh, first off, congratulations. This was a hell of a game and uh, two great teams, and I know uh, every win's important. This is this was a special one, wasn't it? No, de definitely. I definitely want to say thanks be to God for making this happen. But, no, the kids showed a lot of fight, a lot of resiliency because it's what we trained for, 48 minutes, and definitely we needed it today. You know, a kid stepped in. Yeah, we had some guys that were kind of banged up, but that's part of it being at, at the eighth week, ninth week of the season. But, you know, we showed a lot of resiliency. Coaches staff did a tremendous job making a making – adjustments with the run game and it showed up and it prayed off. I was going to say, first half, you know, you're up 17 nothing, and you're feeling good. And, you know, San Benito comes back, and they hit you guys with some punches, and they take a 21-17 lead. How proud were you of your kids? Because a lot of lesser teams would have hung their heads and let that, that avalanche of momentum get to them and kind of fold up the tents and go home. Your kids jumped right back up off the mat and threw punches right back at them. How proud of you are your, are your kids? No, that's part of the offseason. Our offseason, I, I truly believe, is second to none in what we do. And it's, it's a whole thing about adversity. It's going to strike whether it starts earlier relate but it's going to strike and that's the whole thing about what defines a person how you handle adversity and stuff and that's I, I, I think our kids our staff did a tremendous job and uh, my, staff, my hats off to my staff but you know the kids you know that's, that's who, what we do man down here in, in, in Harlingen and San Benito we play extremely hard and for 48 minutes and we're just fortunate to be on top today Offensively, that's a good defense over there. They've allowed, I think, less than five points per year. You guys were able to score 37 points on them. I thought, obviously, Isaiah is going to get a lot, a lot of the credit, and he des deservedly so. But your offensive line was excellent, holding their blocks and, and opening up creases for Isaiah. Um, just from our vantage point, they look good. What did you think of your offensive lines play tonight? We were kind of like teasing them. You know, the rank number, whatever it was you mentioned, and they've only given, given, uh, given up five five points guys you know kind of like yeah. doing that kind of stuff to these guys so it was a challenge it's, it's the whole thing about what we do because uh, if it doesn't challenge it doesn't change you and that's the whole thing we want every game to develop some form of change have some form of change and grow that way when we get to the playoffs man you've seen it all you felt it all you overcome it all so that's kind of where we're at you know I'm glad that this happened because you know I felt it in my I was a little bit shook shooken up with the momentum but that's part of it I said we're going to be able to turn it around and, and exactly what happened you know never become shaken that's the whole thing about what we teach these kids you know we don't want to flinch we want to make sure that we always keep grinding and uh, eventually our preparation is going to overcome some of the atmosphere tonight, it was, it was an unbelievable atmosphere, two undefeated teams. I mean, obviously the Battle of the Royal always brings out the best in both communities. Obviously, you're, you're focused on the game, but did you feel the, the, the electricity in the game pregame? Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, my, my mom, she's 85, she's in the stands, you know, and uh, my, my in-laws came in from Eagle Pass. You know, lots of people that I haven't seen, you know, and it was just good to see a, a, a person on every seat, man, you know, to see Bogus Stadium filled like this. It, it's, been a, it's been a minute that that's happened, you know, and so it was good to see, and, and, and it's, it's what what happens down here in the 956? Ain't much to do but to come out and support your kids, man, and the community. Like I said, I advocate for Valley football, you know, except when we play on a Friday night. You know, we want to tear your heads off, but that's what it is, you know, that's what we do, and that's what we love to do. All right, now, final question for you. Actually, uh, I believe the Harlingen Cardinals are, I think, seven or eight no when uh, Matt steps in the building. So, uh, I mean, when, get the Booster Club to fly me down every week. Absolutely. Are we going to do that? Yeah, I got a friend who has a private jet, homie. <laughs> All right, we're going to get you every weekend. So I appreciate you. Go Cardinals. Let's get it. Appreciate it, Coach. Thanks a lot. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Great job.